Previously on 400 Days. Go, God damn it! Oh, shit! And now, 400 Days. Hello, and welcome back to another fun filled, exciting episode of Walking Dead 400 Days. Uh, I guess we shall do um, Shell, I guess, since she's just up there. Or who's at the bottom there? Wyatt. No, screw that guy. Um, so I did two things. One is I improved the frame rate. I hope that's noticeable. And uh, the second is I turned on subtitles uh, just because I noticed that my voice mixes pretty well into there. So uh, just to make sure that nothing is missed on your side. So let's start with Shell. Uh, oh, fuck. We're going to go to a loading screen. So I should have said all that stuff during the load. So I apologize. Um, in the meantime, here's a song. Dun, oh, never mind. You play that song, Rebel. Wait. It's just the same riff, man. Oh, she likes you. Look at that smile. Shell. Hey, Shell. Your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. That's Thank a you girl? for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know everything else that's a yeah. man man growing up in a world like this what do you think that does to a kid she's already changing she dismisses things she cares about so easily i guess you kind of have to when you've already lost so much but i still worry yeah there'd be no hockey on tv what's that beck is a good kid these are shit times and she's gonna go through that but if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen. Thanks, Stephanie. Well, if you know anything, you actually want them exposed so they can survive. Loser. Thanks. Someone's gonna die. I bet it's your little sister. Pekka, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? You'd have to learn a new riff. That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. Terrible we idea. We could all use a little more music <laughs> in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. You stay away from all my right, sister! All right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Yay. Okay, what let's get to it. Fuck this dude. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. I don't want you messing with those. Uh-uh. I don't want you messing with those unless we're in danger, okay? I'll take care of those later. Fine. Shell, when you get a sec, well, you remember me it. out back. Take a picture, write it down. Watchdogs. <laughs> sure thing. Am I ruining this experience for you? All right, let's get some knives here. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. What's Don't worry, they're on our list. All right, this is a little more interactive than uh, Vince's episode. Did you ever find out what happened there? No. Roman said it was like this when he and Stephanie found the place. Could be anything these days, though. Still, better not to think about it. Yes, out of sight, out of mind, into death. Because that's exactly how it works. Okay, what is going on with that frame rate? It's got to be my recording software, so I apologize in advance. Hey, Becca, think we should start charging for the inspections we make? Oh, yeah. Then we can spend all our money at nowhere. <laughs> I ain't going to use no kitchen doors. You use a kitchen door. What do we got here? How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. I wasn't paying attention. What am I supposed to be doing? Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. Cornfield. Well, that can't go well. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. These ladies are not funny. 
What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you going to find out? Yeah, in a sec. But that's okay, because neither am I. Anyway, let's go see Roman and tell him to stay away from my little sister, who looks like a man. Hmm, maybe that says something about Roman. I got cargo pants on. Can we put the we fire extinguisher in these. our cargo sure pants? They all work. It's cargo, right? Okay, where is Roman? I don't want to look at no coffee machine. Oh, this soda. hasn't worked in a long time. We don't have syrup. Look at this guy. He just keeps starting the same game. Stop it. He does this all the time. Don't message him, though. Smells good. <laughs> what is this? Gruel? Where is this dude? I forget the sink. I wonder if that bothers anyone that I'm not being thorough. Oh, canned goods. I don't miss going on raids for this stuff. I'm not. Ooh, starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. So how many days was, was Vincent? Oh. oh! You scared me! He's hungry. Guess he knows it's feeding time. What's in the box? It's disgusting. Can't disagree with you there. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. Don't tell me what to do. Keeping her sheltered and uninformed is the best way. This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. It could be eating a frog, a toad, or your mama. Futurama. Yeah, walk out here. I'm sure it's not a trap. Oh, God. It's a puppy. Was it a puppy? That doesn't even look like a real puppy, but that's... Yep. I'm killing you first. Just just so you know, old lady, I'm coming back and I'm killing you first. What else is out here? Let's talk to him. That zombie for look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Broth. Hey, broth! What was that? That post-it brought something or other? Whatever. Brought number three. <laughs> oh, Jesus, don't ever fucking do that again! Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. I'm sorry. It's... It's just the watchdogs. I guess they found a... A puppy. It is a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was, it was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? Layers, people. But then, you know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and... Now it's gone. That sucks. It does Maybe if suck. Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Don't say Becca. that, honey. Shout, Becca! Something's going on outside. God damn, what hold is your it? horses. I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. I bet it's zombies. <laughs> it's a Come trap. Here. Everyone! Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. Come here, everyone. His mother. 
Oh, it's not zombies. So can be dead. Jeez. Larkum. My God. Larkum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. Who is he? I got no idea. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. Second break in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Parlez-vous français? We catch him. They got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some. Send him on his what way. Hell no. He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore. Complacency right? is the enemy. Just let him go. It's too dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you think we would have seen someone by now? At least trying to negotiate to get him back. That is strange. That is strange. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with the that cheese. goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. Vernon was out for the boat the whole time. And the second they left that boat unattended, we just stole it. Oh. That's when our group fell apart. That's a reference to the he main game. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Shoot the motherfucker! But I kind of want to say fuck you. Fuck you, Roman. Shell, come on. Roman's right. We need to protect ourselves first. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. Oh, it's my vote? You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? Now, normally if I wasn't playing this for other people, I'd set him free, but because this is fun, let's kill him. Fine. I guess this is what we have to do. Yeah, take a note, Becca. There's gotta be another way. Tell me, what if he comes back? With weapons, or, or a gang? Is it worth losing any one of us? Jesus. There really is no other choice, is there? Nope! We can't keep him here. We can't let him go. Miss Martin. If there's even so a chance of him coming back, or telling folks that might try to hurt us, we can't risk it. I won't ask you to watch, but if we do this, we're all in it together. If this ever happens again, it's gonna be one of you pulling that trigger. Well, move out of the way of the bullet. Keep your eyes open. Welcome to real life. I kind of ruined that moment, didn't I? Do you have any fours? <laughs> nope. Do you have any sevens? You're supposed to say go fish. Uh, should I cheat my sister? Nah. Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? After we had to kill that guy, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I wish things were still like they used to be. I killed the well, happy. Roman's too focused on making sure no one's able to break in again. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Did anyone see you leave? No, no one saw me. You've got to stop doing that. You're going to get us both in a lot of trouble. I don't see why it's such a big deal. We had another break-in just last month. Uh, Becca, you know what it means if someone were to see you and follow you back here. No one is following me. There's no one else out there. Shell, I need to talk to you. 
Oh, he knows. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When hey, you, hey, uh, hey. get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Oh, he knows. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Give us a minute. Yeah. Just don't take too long. I'm gonna talk about my what sister behind my back. About? Her back? I don't know. Probably not good, though. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Why are people in these situations always so cryptic? Just come out and say it, man. Didn't we see a coach like this before? There's a blood stain? No, screw that. I'm not walking all the way over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need to look at stuff. Let's talk to Boyd. Hey. Shell. It's Stephanie. What? Roman's got her locked up like some kind of animal. They said she was trying to escape. They actually used that word. Escape. Boyd, calm down. I knew something like this was going to happen, Shell. I said if we killed that man, we were heading down a dangerous path. And now look where we are. I'm gonna go talk to Roman. No, no, just take Becca and get out of here. You know I can't do that. Things are good here. We just have to stick together and follow the rules. Just don't do anything stupid. Yeah, man, this place ain't run by Grimes and his hokey, everyone's good kind of thing. Looks the painting nice, shit, boy. dude. Thanks. <laughs> That's not what I said. Wait, who's Stephanie? Oh, Stephanie's the younger. I told you that guy's a pervert. Hey, I heard about Stephanie. Why did she have to do that? We're safe here. There's no reason to want to leave. I'm sure she had her reasons. I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Is this always here? Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Well, so what, Roman? Ever since the incident, this hasn't been an easy place to live in. If she doesn't want to stay, let her take her chances out there. Well, A, she had most of our seeds, medicine, and ammo with her. And B, you know we can't let anyone leave who knows where we are. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Y'all want me to kill her? Yeah. You said that next time it'd have to be one of us. You went along with it last time. But you weren't convinced it was the right thing to do. Yes, I was. Now I need to know that you're with us. 100%. 100%. I'll do it. I don't really have a choice, do I? You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Why don't we kill Roman instead? Take all the batteries. That's what we need is batteries. Shell, what's wrong? Stop your crying. You're There's batteries trouble. to get. Double A's. It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of supplies and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Batteries. No choice for batteries. Because this place isn't safe anymore. Wait, that's not what I Ever wanted. Ever since we killed that stranger, things have been different. Roman's not trying to protect us anymore. He's trying to control us. But it's safe here. I mean, yeah, I want to get away every now and then, but I would never leave. That's crazy. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. 
Your gun's over there, in the drawer. I have a feeling that I could, probably could have played this a little bit better. <laughs> hey, Keys. Well, let's we, drive out of here. We don't have to do this. We can just go. What? And the music suddenly stops. We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. You're right. Let's shoot her in but the for head. for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We but don't have a kill choice. Him. This is who we are now. Maybe I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No, I'll do I'll it. I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. No, I don't. This really sucks. Give me the gun. Yeah, it does. Give me the gun, 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 give me the gun. No. Sign. You don't tell me what to do, I'll shoot you too. Yeah. I don't ever want to put you in danger. If that means this is what we have to become, then it is what it is. Let us be miserable together. You better damn well remember it. I'm the one with the gun. I'm sorry. Me too. What? Oh, that's bullshit. I wanted to actually hit. Okay. Okay. I've been robbed of the experience of at least feeling some sort of guilt. Now that's all off screen and stuff to save me. Not that, you know, it's probably a good idea given the way I've behaved throughout this episode. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for joining me. We will continue on with one of these three people. And maybe we'll finally see what the broth site is. Who knows? Next time on 400 Days.